Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Come Through Pod. We have a very special guest in the building. Yes, ma'am. Well, the one and only Nyla. Guys, Nye. Guys, guys. With the amazing voice. I'm really excited to get into, like always, but I'm really excited to get into this week's episode because you're just like real cool. You're so dope. You're a ball of light. I'm excited as well. You guys are cool. That's why I'm here. That's why we're all here. We're all cool. <laughs> Pretty much. It's cool as beans. She you know, nailed it. That's that's right. That's right. Well, I go by the name Ashley J and I ask one thing, one thing only friends that you put some respect on my motherfucking name. Mm -hmm. dog. That's it. That's all. And it could be so simple. simple. I am here with my A1, my day one, my motherfucking bestie. Flex Luther. Young Flex in the building checking in with the gang, you guys. What's good? We going to get this show rocking and rolling. Let's do it. That's it. Nye, get your ass in a car and come, come through, through, girl. She I'm sure here. did. Yeah, she did. I'm She's here. like, no, we're going to make this shit fucking work. Literally. So before we get started and I get hella distracted, right. why don't you tell all the people where they can get at you, where they can find you? Okay. So I really only use uh, Instagram these days. Okay. So my Instagram is N A four eyes. <laughs> so obnoxious. L A H. Um, that's where you can really find what I'm up to, what I'm singing, who I'm hanging out with, and what I'm smoking. Hey, that's now, right. Now. Hey, now say now. Look I like that. that. <laughs> where I'm singing and what I'm, I'm smoking. smoking right. That's right. I know that's right. Well, like I said, I'm excited. We're going to have you on the show. Mm. I've been blessed with Nye's presence all summer long. Yeah, and yeah. And she's really fucking cool. I just like her energy. Talented and as fuck. Super fucking talented. Okay. Um, we played Cloud Nine here on the podcast before. This is the beautiful this voice. This is the beautiful voice. This voice. is the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Right. I guess that's me, guys. The yeah. face behind <laughs> the voice, guys. Here she is. That's me, Nye. <laughs> um, I kind of told the people already, but we do this thing called Run That Resume, and I want you to basically tell the people what you do. All right. Well, I smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost. And that's why I'm here. Yeah. But also, I'm just kidding around. Um, I am a singer slash songwriter, most of all performer. Ooh, um, okay. I came here to LA to be a better studio artist. Ooh, okay. Very specific. You know what I mean? Yeah, very specific because I need to work on that. You know what I mean? Like being able to like go in and like not really dominate a room, but like be in charge of that room. Like it's my shit. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Right. So Sometimes I have a hard time doing that. So it was like cool to run my own session and stuff like that. Absolutely. What about LA brought that out for you then? Like what, did you feel like just because you were at home, you couldn't put your foot down because you were here, you needed to be around other creatives or what Like you was were forced it? to jump out of your your maybe normal it's shell just back back home like in the east coast it's like mad performing mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm. like there's not really that many studios to go to like in my hometown like there's a few you know what i mean and all the gotcha. homies run them or whatever but mostly just record at home like quinn kind of cuts like 90 percent of my stuff and then like maximally the other 10 percent shout, shout out, out to, to quinn J. right gang so shit no lame shit. Gang shit i really just honestly do stuff at home so every time i've been like out in like a studio setting it's been like for a feature or something like mm -hmm. that i've never really had like my own studio experience so that's what i wanted to come here for because everyone out here is pr like a studio artist you know what i mean yeah okay sense. that's cool and where is back Thanks home for, for the people list right thank you for breaking that down where is back home for the people listening pennsylvania Pennsylvania. The penny. I was going to say, as Lexi called it earlier, the penny, the penny has been <laughs> sticking. It's been sticking. Uh, Lexi's trying to make fetch happen right now. Yeah. Very penny, <laughs> full of clowns. Right. Full of clowns. <laughs> so, okay. Well, thank you so much for filling us in on that. Yes. Let's get you, you know, warmed up. Our first segment is called Icebreakers. Nice. We like to play a little bit of a game. Like get games. you warmed up, get you comfortable, you know. Oh, yeah. We know you're not a sh shy to be in front of the crowd, no. but uh, we want to just, you know, get your viewpoints on a few things. 
to see what type of person you are and ask you some random high ass questions. So our first icebreakers uh, segment is called This or That. You can get with this or you can get with that. Oh, you can get with this or you can get with that. Very simple. Just like the song says, we're going to give you two options. Okay. You can only choose one and whichever one you do not choose is gone forever. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So we Welcome some, to the game. Yeah, you know, and we did a little research on Just you. Just a little And we oh. tried to make these rather challenging. Oh, so nice. We're very proud of ourselves. I love this, right. actually. We're this very is, proud. like, very intentional. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. This is Thanks, sick. friends. Yes. Well, since you started, I know it was a joke, but let's be real. We all love weed, right? Since you started with that, I wanted to ask, is it indica or sativa? Sativa. Really? really? Dominant. Like, it's more hybrid, but I'd rather... The shock on her. I know. <laughs> we were like, really? really? Okay, because it's a, lot of, it's a lot of body pain for me personally. So if it's a hybrid that can ease my body out, but something that can not make me lazy or still think about what I'm doing throughout okay. the day, that makes me feel good. Rather than, like, sitting in my... Like, when it's an indica, when it's, like, a real heavy indica... My body's so chill, and then, like, my mind is just, like, going crazy. I'm thinking about literally everything shit from, like, third grade. <laughs> like, <laughs> that one time Timmy yeah. didn't let me use his pencil sharpener. Yeah, I'm like, like well, damn, fuck. why the fuck did I do that? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I honestly am not really a fan of indica that much. Like, pure, purebred indica. <laughs> purebred. <laughs> my favorite strain is strawberry cough. Okay, solid um, strain. Hell yeah. Um, it helps a lot with like anxiety mm. and um, PTSD, bipolar disorder, all those things to like keep you kind of like stable, but like not too, not too fried throughout the day. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I can't really do sativa dominant stuff. Like it fucks me up. It gives me a headache. It makes me go into overdrive and it gives me a headache. Yeah, I feel you. I just feel because like I'm so calm on Indica that like I'm kind of just like have that second to too much idle time yeah too much idle time because i'm kind of just like stuck you know what i mean yeah so even though i'm watching a show i'm literally like what did that person just say because i'm just like thinking so loud and then i feel like a crazy person i'm like i can't smoke this one like Mm. i've given p likes indica i've given like all my indica like the rest i'm like you can just smoke this yeah we can smoke this when you want to smoke or something because i don't like this i love indica too i have i have adhd though so i find that it just calms me down the sativa i'm still like wired ready Mm -hmm. to go like I, you know, like I could like smoke sativa and then like go on a hike or something. I'd be like mm-hmm. super motivated and stuff. But Let's I just feel like it. you have to smoke again maybe an hour later, yes. right? Like you're not high. I feel and like I it burns. And, and I do again. And I will. <laughs> Watch me. Literally, I will. Anything to like keep away from falling asleep or whatever. Right. I feel that. Okay, so I have a question for you. Um, Since, you know, you are a wonderful singer and performer, mm-hmm. I had to ask you this question. And remember, you can only choose one. Is it Erica Badu or Amy Winehouse? Oh, fuck. <laughs> and whichever one you do not choose, their it's catalog gone. is gone. Through. Is it? And okay. like, you can never play it. Is leaving an option? No. <laughs> <laughs> Exit stage left. <laughs> because I always say, like, if I was something like, you know, if my or my sound, you know, I would, if I am something, <laughs> my sound is like if Erica and Amy had a baby, right? You know I what I mean? I could see that. I, I would agree. So, but if we're gonna go like full like personality and you know like soul, like what I feel, Amy, because she's just a little more introverted than Erica, like. I feel comfortable around you guys. I'm able to do this around you guys, but that's not the same for everybody that I come across. Like there's times where I sit in the room. If I don't know anybody, I'm really not talking. So like. That doesn't transcend in your performance that like introvert. You, you kill it. Like you're like live. That dancing shit's brand new. My (laughs) whole. (laughs) And I'm still trying to get the work of it. Cause sometimes I do it like too much. I get like too into it or something. And then I'm like making faces and (sighs) shit. Like I'm getting a breath. I'm like I gotta remember I am not Beyonce. Like (laughs) I am not TLC. What do I think? Hell no. 
No, I love that you just started busting and twerking in the middle of the set. That shit was lit as fuck to me. That was That's so the tone. No, that it makes intense. other people want to twerk. It was authentic. It was like I'm vibing and I want to fucking dance and I just started twerking because that's how I feel right now. <laughs> I love it. You saying big body and I'm wearing tight pants. I don't got. That's I don't right. Got big body. <laughs> that's right. Set the vibe. Period. Let the you audience know. know what they should do. Yeah. They're gonna exactly. follow your lead. Turn around. Let me see your butt. Right. Turn around. Shake that ass. How? Mm-hmm. Right. Energy. Energy. Exactly. We love the booty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's next, Flex? Okay, so obviously, you know, you've been, you've been here in L.A. for a little bit. You got to soak up the great things that L.A. brings. Um, you're from the East Coast, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and assume you've been to New York a few times as well. Absolutely. So is it L.A. or is it New York? Uh, neither. Ooh. But we have to pick one. We have to pick one. Right. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the point of the game. I try to make my own rules. They're both kind of, you know, um, are for the arts right they're both beneficial as far yeah. as opportunity for you i would say and they're both big cities i would say i would honestly say new york because okay. like wow there's just a I, I i don't really want to say new york if we're being honest but if we're talking like she said i don't really if wanna. we're talking like full package like you guys are the only sense of community that i've gotten here gotcha. you know what i mean okay. like and i'm hella grateful for that shit and you guys are my family but like and really get to tap into like the queer scene too much or like you know i wanted to go to like a lot of like voguing th- there's no voguing shit around here like th- there's house parties in new york there's mm-hmm. underground shit in new york there's like you, you can, can find yeah, something 24 7 you can find something like that 24 7 there's always like queer events at the park or mm-hmm. like you know caribbean events all like literally every weekend yeah. you know i miss like walking down the street and like hearing spanish music or like hearing you. hearing old school rap like you don't hear that shit around here somebody told where? you turn that shit off now where have you been in la uh i'm in sherman oaks i haven't really gone to i mean i was here alone for most of the summer mm-hmm. so i'm like girl where she hasn't been where she needs to be because you will find that you yeah. will definitely find that for sure the thing about la is it's all spread, spread out. out so you gotta yeah, be in a far. car yeah it's you go to not s- like new york where you can walk like right. people are yeah. down to right. walk 10 blocks and then hop on the train like yeah. that's, not that's not it a thing. yeah but like it's not a thing it's these blocks hot. are longer these, these blocks are, like, are way longer than fucking new york blocks like oh wait the girl they're they're miles they're literally, literally miles. miles like a three minute drive is like a 54 minute walk and i'm like you've <laughs> got to be shitting right. me like you, i think heat. you would like los Feliz. i think you would like silver lake a lot um Echo Park, I think, yeah. if, if that's the vibe. the vibe. But again, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah, and there's nothing here. Th- mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the tough part is the Caribbean uh, culture and, like, essence is hard to find. It's here, but it's pockets of it, and it is so spread out, like it's Ashley so said. Out. It's hard to find. You're going to find a lot of Mexican stuff, yeah. which is a great culture. You're going to find a lot of El Salvadorian, mm-hmm. um, other Central American, like Guatemalan and stuff, but it is harder to find the Caribbean. So I Hell can yeah. see for, like, the sense of, like, home and comfort why you would kind yeah. of you know geared towards that but it's also surprising i don't know maybe it's because you've been here during like pretty much the pandemic but they do have a lot of lot of festivals um mm-hmm. in west hollywood like queer festivals and mm-hmm. stuff they have pride they have like they shut down the whole neighbor the whole like i don't know eight streets Block? or whatever yeah. like eight blocks of it and and do a whole festival but of course since you know. it's yeah covid definitely fucked up this like that experience for mm-hmm. me just a little bit just because like there was nothing going on oh, over here. Sure. And then I'm like looking on Instagram and like pees at this crazy ass Carib like POC queer event. Like yeah. they're playing just like mad cool music. I'm like, like I'm in bed. Lit, right. Know? Like mm, um, me and Erica just here in bed. Right. Chilling. Literally. Well, Erica, now you just Erica, gotta come back. And we- <laughs> <laughs> I've actually <laughs> I've actually been feeling um a Whoops. lot of comfort with <laughs> <laughs> Erica Badu. Erica Badu uh, is playing while I'm in bed. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, when you come back, because you're gonna come back now. Yep. Yeah, well, we are yeah. gonna we're gonna have to all go and, and go get you some. You wanna salsa, I wanna dance yeah. with you guys. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I gotta take you I have to a La Descartes. Yeah, I was gonna say I have a club we could go to. So yeah, yeah we just you just gotta find the right places. Hell yeah. So. I've been um feeling home with the El Salvadorians around mm. here. So my mom stepdad is from el salvador oh, okay and um Cipotes? he's that's my grandpa okay. so like always like pupusas all that shit mm. so there's you can get that everywhere i've been going to this restaurant on van nice boulevard what is it called i 
El Restaurante or something? <laughs> I think it's really called that. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I know what you're talking about. It's on the corner. Yeah, it's literally yeah. that blue with the blue sign and it like spins. Yep, yep. Yeah, very fire. Creative. I mean, very, very fire. Very creative name. Yeah. Yeah. You could find any Hispanic food on that. Literally bar. every Puerto Rican uh, restaurant in PA is called La Favorita, <laughs> including the one my family owns. So wow. Shout out to the fam. Right. Shout out to the creatives. La Familia. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. That's hilarious. Well, you can find any Hispanic food dish on Van Nuys Boulevard so yeah, yeah she, all that. <laughs> every version of an true. empanada you can find <laughs> okay um, Ashley hit her want to hit her with another one you know she asked you what's your favorite weed but if you had to choose one between liquor or weed which one is going <laughs> why Liquor's going <laughs> 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 liquor is literally going out the window You're like I'm chucking that shit uh, out like I don't have to drink. I get into, I know you guys have seen me drink a lot of Jameson. But <laughs> like, I don't know what it is with me and Jameson, but I could take like 17 shots and be like, be standing at the end of the night. Wow. I don't know what that and one I is. I pulls up She's like, like yeah. got nothing. the Jamie. Right. Yeah. You want some? You want some? I'm like, no. No, I don't want that. that. Death juice no, away from me. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly not really a big drinker. I just got to be in the vibe. Uh, my friends say that I drink a lot sometimes, but like I just feel like I'm com- when I'm comfortable around you, I can do something like yeah. that. Like if I'm going to like somewhere where I don't really know anybody, I'm cool with not having a drink at all. Right. You know what I mean? Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, and so I get that. Yeah, I'm chilling. I respect that. Okay. Swedes all day. I like okay, that. okay. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to hit you with maybe one more and then we'll move forward. Um, mm, 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 mm. I want to smoke. I want to roll. Oh, we want to smoke? Oh, hey. Let's go ahead oh, and pass look it. look at that. Your yeah. wish is our command. You ask, you shall receive. Wow. Okay, so last one I'm going to hit you with is, would you rather live with city views or views of the ocean? Views of the ocean. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. It's something about those waves hitting yeah. the sand, man. There's no other. I feel like there's no really other answer because, like, you could tap into that fucking city life whenever. You right. know what I mean? I think I'm the only person that said city views, but like, I, I think that's situational too. Because then I'm For like, sure. some days I'm like, oh no, ocean. Views. Yeah, sometimes you just like need a a reset, and I'd mm. rather be like surrounded by calmness all the time and tap like step into like a crazy scene whenever I'm feeling that. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'd rather woods. I'd rather ocean. Right. Rather Nature. All that. Yeah. I feel that reset. That's a real thing. Like, I feel woods would freak me out because you just never know what's in the woods. There you, know what I, you know what I mean? There are bears. I am from Pennsylvania, but like not like city. Like I'm from, from like the forest. A, yeah. Like so <laughs> from the forest? there's I mean, I'm not necessarily from the forest, but there's forest all around me. Gotcha. Like so even like where I live now, sometimes like fox will come like in my neighborhood or I like foxes a, are a, so cute. A, yeah they're so cute say, they're beautiful and they laugh or a deer they're like, they're you know, like we go on fucking hikes we go camping in the woods we shit outside like <laughs> no Love out it. here out here you just see fucking possums well unless yeah, you no. go to yosemite <laughs> right but no you don't get cool wildlife no. yeah like a fox i yeah. think that shit's dope no, no i, I mean like yeah. She means like, right around in here, the like right here. In the Poconos, you can oh, see a bear yeah. at any given moment. Actually, in Bethlehem, do you remember that? Do you remember hearing the news where like the Bethlehem fucking... Uh, Bethlehem bear was on the, the loose. Bethlehem. <laughs> the bear in the pool in in Bethlehem Township. Bethlehem Township, that's like... It's not it's really like, like a, a city. Like, it does. My, it is. It my, is like, Quakerville. My dad does, is, it is. There's a place called Quakertown, Pennsylvania. My dad is from Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's wow. So are they like really wearing the? There's some people that really do wear them. Is and the oatmeal good? What are they? There's, bonnet? <laughs> is the oatmeal, oatmeal good? good? There's I there's agree. Lancaster too, and there's like Amish, and like they really they really ride in like horse buggies and shit like that. And so like, I just imagine Quinn and his caddy and like somebody in a fucking <laughs> horse and buggy like, pulling up beside him, <laughs> pulling up beside him, like Pull giving, up him, giving him the head nod like. <laughs> <laughs> it's real as fuck out there dead ass like That's crazy even some places around like bethlehem um you can still find like horse parking things like no one really rides a horse but the police oh. in bethlehem now a horse park. but horse there's like little like, like horse out, in like downtown bethlehem a there's 
Yeah, it's like horse. It's lot. it's a parking spot, but like it's where somebody tied their horse back in the day, and like oh. they leave them up for like historical purposes. You know what I mean? Like this is this is kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, well, when I go home, I'll take a picture of one for you guys. Okay. Be like, look, Ash. I'm excited. <laughs> this, where you, this is where you tie your horse when you come visit. There's people have horses like up in like Chatsworth and like Silmar, like those areas. You'll just be rolling down the street, and somebody will pull up next to you on a fucking horse, but. I don't know. Whoa. Totally different vibe. Yeah. Totally, totally different vibe. Different. There's these police horses back home, and I swear they're half dinosaur. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, they're not regular horses. Mm. Like, they're really fucking scary. I won't Are go near them. They're really like, yeah, they look like they probably definitely give them steroids or Stop. whatever. But, like, they're like half dinosaur. They put creatine horse. in their haystacks. <laughs> Literally, though. They're <laughs> mad scary. I, I Those music you. fest horses? <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Music fest horses? I'm over well, you. Well, I'm glad, you know, this is quite good timing. I'm going to Pittsburgh next month. Oh, nice. Um, I'm, yeah. Pittsburgh's lit. Is it? Yeah. What, are, we, it? what are you doing in Pittsburgh? Because I, I, I'm i going for a football game. I'm a big Steeler fan. And um, I'm go- the game's on Sunday, but we're going getting there Saturday night. So what the fuck do I do? Um, you, <clears throat> I don't, honestly, I've been to Pitt- Pittsburgh one time. Okay. But Mac Miller is from Pittsburgh. Yes, so that's is. cool. Number one, you got to visit Blue Slide Park. There's like a whole memorial for him there. Really? Yeah, definitely. If you're like in that area, okay. definitely check that out. I will. Okay. Blue Slide um, Park. I'm going to write that down. Write there's, it down. There's a lot of um, boat party thingies. Really? Like, boats and hoes? Yeah. I like, love boats can, and hoes. Boats and hoes. Yeah, there's a lot of like boats. That's bo- literally I've been, Lexi's thing. When I went to Pittsburgh... I was also in middle school, but we went. What are you doing with boats and hoes? In uh, school? There's different <laughs> kinds of boats and hoes, Ashley. Um, it was like Catalina we were on like a band like competition thing. Okay. So this was like our okay. treat. They threw like a little party for okay. us there. There okay. was like a couple other people like other schools there also had parties. Gotcha. But like they do things like that where you could just like go on the boat and like have a nice dinner and then they play music after dinner okay. and shit. But it's like that's a, cool. Yeah, it's not like. It's not like what y'all are talking about, like twerking during the day or something. Like you, <laughs> brunch, like you brunch vibes. No, you, like <laughs> you eat like a nice like four course meal on this boat, and then there's a DJ after. Oh so yeah, like, it's like, that's it's not like, Lexi's yeah. Sundays. No, I, clash it. It's Saturday. Classy ratchet. Okay, we yeah. Can no, you twerk it. after dinner. Thank you, Nye. Not not while you. I knew you were going somewhere with this. Yeah. 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 You twerk after dinner. Always after. Dinner. I love a good, nice, expensive, when classy you're full? meal. Hell yeah. And then twerk it out after. Yeah, yes. what do you mean? You smoke a blunt on the fucking balcony of the oh. yacht or whatever. You come back inside. You You're shake a it a little bit. For me right. if I'm full. Shake it a little bit. I'm full to work on the floor. No. Period. Uh, half twerk if I'm full. All right, so let's move. <laughs> <laughs> you get I will force twerk. it. I am not doing it. My food hasn't digested, mm-hmm. sir. You want me to pop it? Get out of here. <laughs> the fuck? Um, okay, so let's. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move it on along to deep as a puddle mm-hmm. so this is where we ask you really just more high questions more okay. high questions you just may have to think just a little bit longer about these I'm stoned. so <laughs> i'm stoned perfect, perfect. That's, so, what that's what they're intended for exactly so the first question that i have it's quickly becoming one of my favorites is what would your life's memoir be titled Um, I would say I would say I honestly like I don't know I would say like a bunch of other things but if there's one word that resonates with me is resilient I guess yes you know because my that's like one thing that resilience that's like one thing that my mom says to me you know what I mean I always try to like take compliments from my mother pretty serious Absolutely. you know she always is like you know you're toughest resi- critic you're, right yeah, you're, you're a resilient kid you know like i admire yeah. that like no matter how many times i see you crying or upset you know what i mean you'll you'll try it again I'm you'll like, figure you it know. out i'm like you know what thanks that's true. this shit mom. fucking sucks but <laughs> shout outs to you, i'm gonna mama. do it again for sure love you maria <laughs> love you mom shout thanks, outs maria. to moms <laughs> okay that's lit i like yeah. that thank you you know and it's tough to be resilient it's not yeah it's, it's in you it's not on you. And what's in you, they can't take away. So yeah, that shit well, shakes you hard. Yeah. Bars. Knit puzzle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Credit your source, Flex. <laughs> All right. So if your life could be narrated by one person, who would you choose it to be? Mm. That's a hard one. I honestly, I need a second. Should we use this thing? Ooh. Look at that. Let's use the sand timer. timer. 
Oh, that oh. shit's going pretty <laughs> fast. <laughs> ASMR. It may only be about 30 seconds. All right. So <laughs> if I am going to have one person narrate my life, I honestly feel like it would just be like, my family taking turns like Ooh, you know like my I closest like my closest people like you know like including like chosen that. family just like i'm gone i'm out of here and like all my homies are sitting around the table my mom and dad were with my homies are on the table my aunts and uncles and they're all just taking turns reading a page whether it's funny or it's sad or whatever i just like everyone has it like it's my brother has like he makes fun of me so hard so <laughs> i've been As there he should, yeah says. like he's 16 you know, he's oh. at, yeah he's at that Hello. age he's, oh, he's yeah young. yeah Hello. he's a baby i'm the oldest out okay. of the, i'm there's three the of nerve. us i'm the oldest okay. so yeah my brother is really fucking funny <laughs> so i can definitely see him reading a couple pages and being like <laughs> this loser i can't believe she did that you know well shut up i like that that's creative no I, one yeah. has said that yet so mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. a good one that's a good one okay last one if you can change the national anthem to any song absolutely any song which song would you change it to? Substance Abuse by Smoke Dizza. Woo! No Hezzy on the shot. I've, there you have I've it, never people. heard the song. You never heard that song? Uh -uh. Wild. I will play it later. Please. Please yeah. put me on. I, I like, uh, what is it? Personal Personal Party by Smoke Dizza? That's my shit. Very on brand for quarantine, by the way. Very. <laughs> <laughs> Very. I also like uh, Good Vibes by Wale, but I will go with the first answer. We like it. No hezzy on the shot. I love Stick that. with your gun. She literally like knew it before you even finished yeah. the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you guys hear the song and you're like, okay, no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see why good. this is your favorite song. <laughs> it makes like, yeah. loads of sense. Oh, lit. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? I think that pretty much, I think you're, I think you're warm. I think you're actually getting hot now. Yeah, so I'm about to take the jacket off. You know, okay. let's, let's go ahead and break right, right on through to the interview portion okay. um, of this show. So. Ooh. Which is our favorite. We love to give flowers to people while, you know, they deserve them still. So, um, obviously, you know, um, you're on the Fly City tape. We've talked a lot about it. You've worked with the gang, uh, you know, many, many nights. Many a nights in many the stew. Many nights in the stew, rehearsing, you name it. Um, but before we, we talk about that collaboration, let's take it all the way, Bizak to back in the penny oh. when you was just, you know, back a little tight. Yay haul. Yay. When you was just a tight. Where did this right. music journey begin? Um, my parents always tell me that I sing, um, well, not sing, rap DMX in the back of the car. Oh. When I was like two, my dad. X gonna give it to you. Right. Go ahead. Parents, Real one. Yeah, my parents were blood of my very blood. young when they had me, like 18. My dad, okay. my mom was just turned 18, had me. Then right. my dad was 19. And, okay. Oh. And, kids. And, uh, I mean, adults, yeah. but kids. Yeah. Right. And, um. Uh, I was just listening to whatever the fuck they were listening I feel that, to. Yeah. And, you know, my dad was driving this bucket, just listening to DMX. What a cassette tape. Small ass two year old <laughs> in the back, just like <laughs> I love this. This is this is first hip hop memory right here. Yeah. I was gonna ask Straight you that. Is, is that first your, hip -hop what memory? song was it? Do you remember? Or um, did they tell you? No, no. Just no. like the whole like whatever the like roots, any of that stuff. Like, but my dad said I used to do like that <laughs> in the back of the car. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If you guys ever come to PA, he will literally <laughs> tell you about it. He's like so like he loves proud. that. Yeah. I tell a proud. He Imagine literally loves this it. little ball oh. talking about barking <laughs> 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 like DMX. Like what is she? Oh, rest in peace, DMX. Oh, right. Right. Damn, that's good. That's some good shit right that's there. That's a great story. We mm. usually ask people what's their first or strongest oh, hip hop memory. Da, 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 da. I don't even know where anything's at. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> You're like, I'm too young to know what's going on. I love that. Those make my, make my heart smile. Yeah, same. Oh, it's a chronic cough. No worries, Ooh. my friends. Right in no the worries. You know it. <laughs> Gang over there just <laughs> smoking it, away. Blowing it down. Yeah. All right. So it started with that in the car seat back of the, the dad's bucket. Um, when did you start? I know you said that in the East Coast, you know, it's a lot of arts. They're very focused mm -hmm. on, like, the arts and the performance, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to assume, because you're mad talented, if not, even more impressed, if that's possible. Did you go to any type of uh, art school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I started – so, okay, so in eighth grade, they give all the eighth graders, like, a solo in jazz band. Just, you know, like, you're eighth grade. Here's your solo. Here's your chance to shine before you leave. Yeah. 
And instead of giving me a saxophone solo, she gave me a voice solo. And then from the voice solo, there was like a teacher judging this competition that worked at the art school. And he was like, audition, have you auditioned? And I actually, crazy story, I actually did audition and I didn't make it in on vocals what? at all. You didn't make it in off vocals? No, I didn't make it in on vocals. That's blasphemy. Uh, How smoking crack. crack. Smoking crack. Wait, that, no. Okay, was there some, there was some politics going on? Mm, okay, definitely. Come on. A little bit. Not really. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to you, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Like, um, at, so Quinn's class was like the last class that was like, I feel was like super talented, like all around. Like you had to do theory, like all that stuff all that shit i didn't know much of that on voice i didn't know classical music too much i didn't know and like that's not what the vocal directors at that school are really looking for okay so yeah so i I wasn't trained in all that kind of shit and so what were you trained on you said saxophone like okay so i played the saxophone but like i did i did like less i do like jazz and like neo soul like all that stuff i've always been into r&b like alicia keys all that stuff Mm. and he hates musicals and i tried to audition on like two different musical songs and stuff and he oh yeah he fucking was just like i hate you but (laughs) (laughs) anyway this the jazz teacher who got fired at one point um Mm. was like i'm gonna just accept you on saxophone and we're gonna use you in the jazz band and we're gonna make all these vocal teachers jealous mm. and i was a double major can like technically my first year and then i dropped vocal my second year and i was taking classical lessons my like my sophomore year i was doing all that shit so by the time i was in 11th grade i re-auditioned for vocal and i got like fully accepted of into course. the vocal program That's so, so cool your like high school experience was fame yeah and i'm right really jealous <laughs> as you guys all know with my story from ocho I was about to say. my failed dreams as a vocal singer at the a talent show singer, a singer at the talent show <sighs> I, this makes mary I'm shot you down <laughs> No, I didn't tell Mary because Mary would have shot me down. Oh, that's right. That's she right. She would have killed my dream before I stepped foot in that tryout, <laughs> which right. honestly might have been for the better because <laughs> sis did not hit a single oh, note during that yeah. audition. <laughs> and I tried to sing Fallen. She picked yeah, Fallen. See, you saw that face? She picked from a singer. Can... From a singer. That's a dumb one. I go flat on that one all the time. Still. Why did I'm I in think the bathroom I can do like, it. damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, I did it again. <laughs> I knew it was coming too. Like, fuck. shit. Yeah, that's funny. So, as fuck. I'm jealous of you, but you know, flourish, girl. Do your mm, thing. I had to, you know. What I mean? And honestly, I'm glad that I really learned how to sing classical music and shit because now my my range is like so far up. They're like, when I sing classical music and when you give me a music like sheet music and stuff like that, like they're gonna give me soprano one, which is like the highest one that you could sing oh, and wow. then when i'm singing like my jazz shit i always like tap into this like <laughs> yeah low register so like with, but without classical shit that like for me i wouldn't wow, have it okay so what was the one thing that has whoever taught it to you what was the one thing that has always stuck with you when performing or going to the studio whatever that thing is when i'm performing or like just being just like I don't know, just be yourself. Like I, like I said, like the dancing stuff is new. Like I would sit down and, and like on a stool and people are like, yo, s- stand up. Right. And I'd be like, sometimes, all right, I'll stand up. But then like I'll like during like a dress rehearsal or something, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to sit down. You know, I want to sit like this is like yeah. I'm performing right now. Like this is going to like if I don't sit, this is going to suck. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So just always be stay true to what you feel comfortable with, okay. I think. Is what it is. All right, girl. I feel For that. Me. No, yeah. Because how you can do your best performance if you're not comfortable? Yeah. I, I, th- wa- I want to be safe. I want to feel safe while I'm doing something that's making me feel safe. You know what I mean? I don't want to yeah, be like yeah. out of bounds. Like if I'm trying to feel safe, it's like a collective of safeness, not like <laughs> yes. I'm happy because I'm singing, but I'm shaking right, <laughs> right. now because like I'm, <laughs> I'm sweating standing my ass up. Off. Like you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. like sitting down was like kind of a comfort thing for me. And when I was ready to break out of it, I did. You do. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. I love that you dance too because you you're not gonna expect it and then you just hit that shit and I'm like I just want fucking right mm-hmm. hit that shit <gasps> love I'm it turn. 
I've, I've tried. No, do you do it. Do you remember your first performance, live performance? Excuse me. Um, my live per my first live performance singing. Yes. Was in, singing. like, fourth grade in this like musical. I had like just like one little line, and I just remember like my teacher was like. Yo, that was really good. My fourth grade teacher was like, yo, that was really good. I was like, yo, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yo. But that was technically like my first performance. It was literally like one little line in like this musical about like fucking pirates or something. <laughs> like, and they all took, tur- like the school took turns to come watch it. Like kindergartners yeah. and wow. first grade came first. And then like, you know, parents got to come. Right. Was but that when you realized you had the pipes? The re- I, you were like, really I, were working with something? That's when, that's when my parents realized. And then like, they put me in like singing lessons when I was in like sixth grade and then when I got to high school um I stopped taking those lessons because I got them for free at school then but like so I lit. took lessons shout from out six to, to your grade. parentals for for putting you into that kind Hell of stuff yeah. you know once they for noticed sure. it and picked up on it because that's beautiful that's that's what good parents do <laughs> straight Hell up yeah. tap into what they see you love and what you're good at and help you get better exactly Hell yeah i didn't like really like think about all that shit at the time but like you don't i definitely you know. know like that probably wasn't like a necessity for the pocket at the time no. yeah right you right. know what i that mean too. so now looking back i'm like damn right. you know i, I mean? appreciate you for sure. yeah thank you it's funny when you grow up and you're like damn my parents actually like yeah. went a little extra f- or hard for yeah. me. It's like, okay, thanks, guys. Yeah. Y'all love, love you. you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's fast forward a little bit. You, you know, obviously met Quinn through not only it being a small town, but I'm going to assume more so because of school. It was school. Yeah, yeah 100% school. 100% school. Yeah. So then I wanted to kind of fast forward into like you making your own music. So we know you did performances for the school. How... How was it finding kind of your own sound? Because it sounds like right now you're still coming out here to like make a project. You were in the studio. How has it been like that process, finding your sound? It's been mad hard. Honestly, Mm. this is literally, I'm going to be mad real with you guys. This is literally just like a five, maybe six song EP. I wrote my first, wrote and recorded my first song for this EP like seems like the one I perform with mm-hmm. you guys. I love seems like. I recorded that shit in 2019. Wow. So I just haven't really cuz I had like all these ideas cuz I like live. You know what I mean? Like a track doesn't feel natural to me. Like I like being followed while I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? Got you. And it's like, you want musicians yeah, the, yeah, behind the, the you. The track and... doesn't really give you that space all the mm-hmm. time to do that. So I had all these plans on like cutting these demos and then like giving it to a, a band and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But all I got is Max and Quinn that will do anything <laughs> for me. Everybody else I got to give mad money to or something. Like, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I, I got a couple of different suggestions that I didn't have to take from people. You know what I mean? Talk to my friends, obviously. You know, I talked mm-hmm. to my bandmates, like my team members. Right. And, you know, they were just like, once you solidify this, like, we can make them sound as live as possible. And, like, once you solidify this, like, you can only grow further. Like, next right. time we can see, yeah. what, like, about a band. You know what I mean? And you'll maybe you'll have the budget next time or whatever. Right. So, it's me. I just wanted to get the sound out, I guess. Some, not, I don't want to say something because I'm, I'm happy with it. But, like, a version it. of me out. Because I see myself doing a bunch of different things with Absolutely. my music. Yeah. Look at so. Rihanna. Every album is completely different. Yeah. Completely I wanna, different. I want to tap into Genius. like my hiatus coyote vibe. I want to tap into like no doubt vibes. Ooh, like I can yes. definitely Gwen see Stefani. some no doubt like yeah. Like, Debbie and La Havas, like real soft. <laughs> no, just what you just... thinking? Yes. Soul like all that like I'm gonna get my Jasmine Sullivan on with my Ooh, runs and yeah. stuff. Yes. yes, hit the run. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you have not. Heard Nye's voice, you need to go ahead. Well, first of all, you're tripping because we played Cloud Nine like seven times <laughs> right. on the podcast. Right. But <laughs> go listen to Cloud Nine. Go listen to Great Clouds, Lovely. which is <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, which is Quinn J and Nye. So, do you have your own music out right now that people can listen to? I have a freestyle out on SoundCloud and YouTube. It's called Girl. Girl, Ooh. okay, yeah. girl, get a little That's name. Right. It's called girl. Um, okay, Michael Scott. <laughs> it, yeah, it's literally like one hundred percent a freestyle, like 
came off the top of the dome in the studio while my stomach was hurting. I was like <laughs> I was laying on the ground and my like the engineer slash producer, shout out Darius Foster. He was shout like, he was like, um, I'm just going to play these for you since you're not feeling well. Like, you know what I mean? And this beat ironically happened to be a beat that he worked on with Max and Quinn. And I just like went off on this shit and he happened to just like press record. Press record. Wow. The recording sounds so fucking shitty. But because it's just like I'm on the ground, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm so far away from the mic, but I can't believe he got it. It's pretty far. OK, yeah. well, check that out until more music. Hell yeah. Till yeah. seems like what well, I have like a project. bunch of like features yes. on the Internet, too. So yes, those are do. also s- still very cool. And you should definitely check those out. Get the views going. We yes, can find them on sure. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, okay. we love that. And Spotify, <clears throat> Apple got like three songs with Quinn on. Yes, I seen that on spotify and apple and i have um a song called better for you with a friend of mine Ooh. tug mcgraw back T- home what a okay. name come right. on tug tug, tug. it's Ooh. it's like it's like the con- <laughs> it's like the country singer it but it's like. not it's like tug mick raw oh because he's like mc i'll i'll send you some of tug stuff tug is dirty Okay, yeah. Tug McGraw. Yeah. Not McGraw. Don't get it confused. McGraw, yeah. Shit. Shit. Mm. Don't Stop. roll over on Tug, okay? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Don't get her started with her country accent. <laughs> her non-country country accent. Right. <laughs> right. Um. Okay, so can, you know, come through, get a little exclusive. What do you kind of have coming up in the pipeline for your own EP? You said you're working on like a six song EP. We know seems like it's going to be on mm-hmm. on yes. it, which is a song that Nye performed mm-hmm. when she was doing the set with uh, original SSEO for the Fly City. She, shout out you guys. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the gang. Shout, shout out to the gang. Shout out to the gang. Go stream Fly City Ray. tape yes. right now. Definitely. Um, but you saying seem, seem like, and I absolutely love it because a lot of times, like, you would cut the track and it's like just your voice and Quinn usually playing or like when Max was here, Max playing, Mm -hmm. Max Millie, shout out to you. Mm -hmm. And it's just dope to hear like the fullness of your voice. And I feel like right now when it comes to R&B singers, we have so many fucking whisper singers. Mm. Yeah. Which I love Janae. I love Janae. (laughs) Mumble singers like SZA. Absolutely love it. But it's like we don't get the different textures and voices and a lot of i guess we can call it mainstream r&b or whatever unless you're really digging for it so it's nice to hear your voice because like you said you can go high you can sing really low and it's just something different and it's Mm -hmm. so beautiful yeah guys thank you (laughs) we love that i didn't even do it (laughs) <laughs> I didn't even do that even thing. Do no, your voice is gorgeous. Was, something gave it to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but I was, it. yeah, of course, of course. Like Lexi said, we want to make sure we can give you your flowers, you yeah. know. And since you're going back to Penny, <laughs> back to Penny. <laughs> now your voice is incredible. Now, honestly, your voice is the type I can play whenever. Like I always, I'd say that about Ari Lennox all the time. I, you know, it's so Big unique. Yeah. Right. And. You could just hear it whenever, when you know, I'm driving, I'm cleaning, I'm working out, <laughs> I'm cooking, I'm vibing with the homies. Like, it's yeah, just like a vibe. It. It's yeah. A vibe. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You got a lot Good of soul. Ass. You got a lot of soul in your voice. Where do you think that? That is the perfect word for it. Like, soul. A like, lot you of soul in your voice. It. Where do you think that comes from? Um, definitely um, my dad, for sure. Neither of my parents are, like, musicians or anything like that, but... I feel like soul is means variety in a way. Like, I don't really know how to explain that more than I just did. Maybe you guys would have to like leave that one up for take, interpretation. Take, yeah, take yeah. what you need from it. Yeah, take but what like, you, will. you know, I remember like my dad picking me up listening to blues. My dad picking mm-hmm. me up listening to Erica. My dad picking me up listening to metal. You know, like yeah, just all that shit. And I just try to think about how music influences each other always. Always. And just represent myself. Both your parents have Caribbean roots, right? Yeah, I'm, and I'm 100% Puerto Rican. Yeah. Oh, I know oh. that. Boricua in the building. Oh, Whoa. Boricua. My so, and let's think about that. What amazing music comes out of the Caribbean? You know, yeah. the sounds and the amazing. So, I know that you. Uh, P was you laughing like at my singing. <laughs> we and try. I just opened Bob, my eyes. We, we yeah. try sometimes, and then That's we should. What happened to Nina Scott? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Literally, though. Wait, wasn't Nina Scott Puerto Rican, too? 
Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Bodie, okay. close. Well, well, they, well, they shout out all of them. Colombiana, Dominicana. Just as an afterthought. Right. They did it as an afterthought yeah. to be Puerto nice. Puerto Ricans, everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Run the world. Um, well, I know, I know that you... And I, I was hoping you could educate us like a little bit more on this because I I'm like super new to this term. You consider yourself Taino. Mm -hmm. So what is explain what is, for yeah. the people and by people I mean me. Okay, Taino is like the indigenous to the land. Okay, and, uh, of the I'll have yeah, like I'll have Priscilla correct me if I'm wrong, right? Yeah. So you can speak Priscilla. Yeah, you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah just like yeah, just it. It, like the, in, the indigenous people okay of the land, you know okay I like the that. natives yeah i feel so. like that's what, why you have so much soul it kind of stems from that like yeah. you know it's it's in you it's not on you i mean i said it earlier you know i never repeated that i have <laughs> i have um a koki on my back the Puerto Rican frog. The frog yeah, yeah that sounds like a bird in Puerto Rico yeah, you um, hear it right when you get off the plane i have it in like that you know tribal ink so that's cool yeah it's, it's, it's pretty yeah, badass yeah. that's dope that's really cool i mm. love that i've never heard that term so it's it's dope to be educated so mm -hmm. i also have a question i meant to ask it earlier and we asked a few other people and i just trying to understand right so do you as a person prefer latinx or hispanic latinx latinx can you explain yeah. why i feel like hispanic is like I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. I just feel like Hispanic is like a different kind of like Spain. Like I'm not Spain. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not, not Hispanic. That's what people, you know I, what we've got I mean? that before. Yeah, like, like, that's, we're not, I'm not from Spain or I'm not like Spanish. It's I mean, just putting everybody in one box. Yeah. Right. Latina, you mm. know? So, I like that. Okay. I like that one. Just better. wondering. I love it. Yeah. yeah. You'd like to hear perspectives mm -hmm. on the show. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> So how was it working on the Fly City tape with the gang? All these guys, huh? You were the only girl in that thing running it. I'm always the only girl, so that girl. don't matter. That, she that wasn't the only girl. That's true. That's I true. was actually when it was just during always. Yeah, set? just just during my oh, se session. Right. Yeah, just during my session for sure. Right. Um, But like, I mean, everyone's cool <laughs> as fuck. You know what I mean? I felt mad cozy Halloween. yeah and then I, I felt it. mad cozy around you guys like right away like especially ray i had no problem just like being like he was like all right i think you could write to this quinn quinn actually said i think ray might come with something written and and i was like you have something written was ray was like no <laughs> <laughs> so, about right. so he, absolutely not he was like i'm gonna write he was like i was i thought i would just give you like a creative direction and like see where we could go from there and like he just fucked with what I wrote and it was just like a pretty simplistic and like nice intentional process for sure. I nice. love that. We love choice that. of words. Very intentional. Yeah. Ray, had, Ray had a vision and I think that vision was definitely met. For sure. Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the taste master or right. taste maker. Right. <laughs> the curator in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So do you have like a timeline for the project? I know you said you were out here working on it. Do you know when you may be dropping it? Ah, I'm thinking around Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah. during spooky season. spooky season. We love it. Okay, yeah. good. So that just means when it drops, you're coming back on the show. For sure. Yes. Okay. For yeah. sure. Good. I'll definitely be back. Good, 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 good. We love that. Awesome. So, um, we had just a few other questions for you, and we'd love, again, to get a little perspective. So you mentioned earlier, you know, you're part of um, the queer community, and mm -hmm. we had a few questions, and you're one of uh, the first, I think, people who identify queer on the show. Yes. And we wanted to just ask, because it's come up before, could you kind of explain pronouns for us? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I tried to explain it, and I'm like, I don't want to misspeak and it's only from my limited understanding. And mm -hmm. I feel like this is a great way at the kickback to kind of just bring it up and open some conversation, some dialogue. Yeah. If right. You know. There you go. <laughs> Put it on the table. All right. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> this, one's, this one's the, the queen with a K. <laughs> the, the connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> queen of the K about this stuff. I actually was taught a lot. Um, 
from Priscilla. So, um, Priscilla goes by they them. Sorry to shout you out like that, babe. <laughs> um, love you, P. Shout love out to you. you, P. P's also a dope ass photographer. So definitely check them out. And we'll get into that. Yeah, P's fucking dope. Yeah, you got to get in front of the camera to uh, peace out in front of the camera. <laughs> but um, what's your Instagram, P? It's Yono.Sema. Yono.Sema. Okay, yeah. so check her out. She's a dope photographer. Especially Yo if know. you're in the, the uh, East Coast. She'll be out that way again. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, pronouns. Go ahead. Sorry. Pronouns. All right. So... I go by she, they, he, that bitch, whatever you really feel. Come on, that bitch. Yeah, like I feel like anything respectful, at least for me, because like there's been plenty of times where like y- y'all see my head and stuff like that. <laughs> like and whatever people's perception of like masculine and what that's supposed to be have definitely been called like little dude in the store before <laughs> or like. Hey, little dude, put the hot Cheetos back. Yeah, like. <laughs> 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 like, hey, man, can I help you? Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Sorry, lady. You know, but like. <laughs> Just because you have um, short hair. What the fuck? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> seriously, it's literally, I mean, it's what people perceive max- masculine right. to be. So I I could see how it's con- confusing for the normal person. You're very with understanding because uh, idiots. Yeah. Some people don't really. Do people some people have like, short hair? Yeah, like, what people, the fuck? No. Some people really don't don't fuck with being with with that but like me as long as you're calling me anything respectful personally i will respond you said he he is acceptable as well okay sure okay i have my days you know (laughs) so i don't really know if that explained anything but i I feel like what would you say the definition I, i have a question maybe this will help like explain it more so the pronoun has nothing to do with the gender per se or what it's just what you feel yes no, no. Def- deferring <laughs> gender is a construct okay. a, yeah gender is a construct for sure like pronouns kind of like respect like it's all about respecting someone so you can see people how you see them but it's how they want you mm. how they want how, to present how they themselves want to be seen. how they want to be seen yeah okay so like, Okay. It's, you know, pronouns is just for some people, you can't speak for all people. Right. So for some people, that's like one way to be seen. For other people, it's just like, fuck it. Like, it feels like it's all like preference. But, you know, like anytime you're in a room or you're having a conversation, you probably get to start with like, what's your, what's your pronouns? And then lead the way or let them lead the way. Right. You know? Let yeah. them lead the way. I think yeah. that's, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because it's like, you can look, I feel like looks are just deceiving. Yeah, it's not even like, not even deceiving. It's just like a look is a look. Like, I feel like you don't have to dress any kind of way to be something or you don't have to act a certain way to be something. You know what I mean? So I just think that being your true authentic self and letting everybody know who that is. Mm is just really important i just i feel like like p said i don't know if you guys could hear that but basically it's just you know about respect Mm -hmm. for the most part and how people want to be treated and seen Seen. or perceived i like the way she said i like the way you said that too because it's like it makes sense i don't care you know what i mean like i to me it's like um and i hope that didn't sound rude but like However you want to be treated, I should treat you that way because it is you. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I ask for you not to be fucking sexist to me or or racist to me, which should all be easy things yeah. to do, right? <laughs> like, and that's the same thing. That's the way I see right. it. Like, if somebody goes, hey, I go by they. Oh, okay, cool. Do we all want to go? Like, it, it doesn't really yeah. throw off the dynamic yeah. of whatever is happening. It shouldn't. It's yeah. just very easy to go, they want to come with us. Yeah. It's been a pronoun. We're just yeah, using it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're using it. Right. Yeah, so I respect that. Thank you. We wanted Thanks for breaking it down. Yeah, we <laughs> Thanks, we P. talked about it before and I was just like, you know, I'd rather hear from someone who's actually in Thank you, P. Who's actually in the the community cuz you know, 
what the fuck does it mean coming from me? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Um, so thank you for that. We appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you want to take this bitch in the TV? Let's take it in the TV. Well, actually, real quick, before we go into the TV, I do want to know, you talked a little bit about Ari being your inspiration. Who are some of your other inspirations Ooh, or muses for music? Um, Napalm, mm. Three Ooh. Stacks. Yes. Obviously, Erica, Amy. Jill Scott, The Roots. Mm. Jilly from Philly. <laughs> I listen to a lot of Snow Allegra. Nice. Okay. Um, I listen to a lot of Lady Gaga. Mm. Look, Lady Gaga can I sing. I listen to a lot of Lady she Gaga can. since she got pipes. the day she, has a great she story. came out. Since Bangs. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Bangs in, in leotard. Right. Don't even talk Did you to watch her documentary? Of course I did. Okay. I so used good. to like... Of course I did. This is so embarrassing. I, I used love to like that. do like a full face of makeup and then take a shower ma'am and then like while listening to lady gaga and just being like she so she can have the look like voguing in the shower like you know and then like look at i had these like triple mirrors in the bathroom alejandro literally (laughs) open the curtain would see myself three times like just a weirdo lady gaga had me feeling myself (laughs) you were in your Uh, bag i was in it and then like she's just she's ever literally like She's top dog for me. Like, she's, she's a, okay, jazz. She's yeah. like everything performer. classical, musical. She's a superstar. Yeah, she's actress. A superstar. Yeah, yeah. She's great. Everything. She's okay. got that movie coming out. What is it? House of Gucci. Mm. I see a little bit of all of them in you. That's, yeah. I see that. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Well, that I did want to ask her that, but yeah, we can go ahead and take it on to TV and film. Yes. 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 So uh, we always just talk about what we're watching because mm-hmm. we're big TV junkies over here. Mm-hmm. Ain't no shame in my TV watching game. Mm-hmm. TV film. Mm-hmm. Yes, we love it. So would love to know. Put us on to what you've been watching. What gets you through? Old, new, whatever it is. Okay. So whenever I'm sad, I will put on the Emperor's New Groove every time. So if I'm sad seven times a week, I will watch Emperor's New Groove seven times a week. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that. I love cute. that movie. That is such a good movie. Though. I yeah. love a good Disney movie. Well, yeah, I love it. It was a show. It was a show, but the movie, the original, the movie, Young Bull, yeah. with Crunk. What yep. was his name? Crunk. 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 Yeah, like no. Crunk. Crunk. Isma. Cusco. Isma was that bitch. Isma was that bitch. I, I love that the robe. That. Mm-hmm. The purple. Yeah. Just everything, and I love when she used to be like. We should take that box and put it inside another, another box, box and put that box inside of another box and then smash it with a hammer. <laughs> that was like my favorite. I okay, right, you're right. 2000. Yeah, I was like, it's definitely 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. That was a long time ago, though. That was 20, 21 years ago. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> wow. Very long time ago. Um, Jesus. That's a great one, though. Good call. That's Hell fun. yeah. Show wise, we just watched this cool ass show called Clickbait. Okay, um, I've been hearing about that. What is should it? Should I give it a Break whirl? It, yeah. yeah, I think you should give it a whirl. I mean, we fucked with it. Okay. Would um, it give us the premise. Synopsis, please. Just a lot of just like social media shit. So like basically synopsis is just this guy gets kidnapped and it's like, if this video gets to 5 million views, we're going to fucking murk this guy. Shit. And like, oh, like literally yeah, clickbait. people, yeah, literally like, clickbait, yeah. and like people keep clicking on the fucking video, like you people know what are, I mean? People yeah, suck. people are awful. Oh god. Yeah, and it just turns into like this big thing, god. you know, where his sister, his wife, like big scandal throughout the town type shit. Very dramatic. Mm. Very good. dramatic. Ooh, okay, okay. A, I might watch that tonight. Yeah. It, honestly, yeah, it's worth it. Okay. We've also been watching um, Aquafina as Nora from the Queen really? of New York. Yeah, yeah I, I love Aquafina. She's funny. I, I saw it on HBO Max and I'm like, I don't know how I feel because I hear a lot of people going off about it on Twitter, like not with it. And really? I don't know if it's just because she's doing the black scent. And she's they, from New York. She's from the deep part of that's New the York. Other, that's the other side of it. So some people are saying she's doing a black scent and she's using <laughs> that because now she doesn't do it anymore. Mm. She used to, you know, she used to rap. She used to do the black scent. She used to do all this shit to get black scent. That's the first time I'm hearing of this adverb. Really? Or adjective. <laughs> black black scent. Really? Yeah. So that, you know, we all, this I'm sure you can figure out what it is. When it's somebody oh, I who I mean, do I all it. of this. And that, oh, I mean, yeah, it's very uh, self-explanatory. Yes, but. And now they're saying she doesn't do it now that she's in bigger movies like crazy rich asians and all these other things she's not doing it as much anymore and she said things like you know she doesn't um she will never do like an asian accent because it's rude and demeaning to people like 
and everybody's doing? like, but the you're doing accent a black suit? is. But what else you want to know about TV? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, what have, what have I been watching? I, I wanted to put you guys on to something. I yeah, put me on to something. I was, just, I was like, I don't have much about like TV. You know, I like a lot. I like to rewatch a lot of things sometimes. You like to rewatch? I I just rewatched. Oh, I don't know if you remember this Varsity Blues. <laughs> You no no she goes girl she's don't. like never heard of it all right that was never from, heard of from it 1999 I've been on HBO <laughs> I was born in 1997 oh my god well honestly ever since Ashley was talking about HBO Max last week they I went on it and they have they have a bunch all of shit the movies yeah they have a bunch of shit yeah, they, they do have a lot of they movies have in there. all the movies I was like oh I need to run this back it was good um what else did I watch uh recently. N- Oh, um, you know, Netflix always comes through with the good series. Um, what was I watching? Oh, there was another drug, a, a drug show I was watching. What was it? Of the, course there was. You already know it was another one. What was it? It was something about El Chapo. Of course. And of course I can't think of it. Um, fuck. What was it? I like drug stuff. I love drug shows. Yeah. That's really my bag. One of, one of my favorite movies is Savages with Blake Lively. Oh, when she was in a thruple. Yeah, Wasn't but she? that's that's not why the drug. I want I because she had two boyfriends. No, um, she had two boyfriends. That wasn't why. It was because who was it? Was it? It was Salma Hayek, right? Or was it the yeah, other Penelope no. Cruz? I can't. They oh, look alike. It was one of them. It was I one of them. They Selma. look alike. Sorry, guys. Selma. Um, I think it was Selma for sure. She's badass. Bitch, she's fine her husband fuck. gets she's killed and she takes over the whole like kingpin thing yeah. and like she's the boss yeah and like she kidnaps this girl as fucking collateral but like she's also like being like really nice to her and like feeding her breakfast but then like pistol whips the shit out of her you know what i mean like i was like damn toxic manipulative you know? <laughs> yeah like she just had like mad money Brian. and she was hot and she was like in charge of things and i was like I would definitely be like a kingpin in another life. That's what I'm saying. Those, that's why those shows get me every time because it like it makes you like dip in, dip your pinky toe into a that. life that you would never be yeah. able to really do. I feel like I would be a great yeah. criminal or kingpin if yeah. it was like the 70s or 80s. Like, right. I'd be a one. Like whether it was like oh like wow. Shamika Johnson. Oh wow! I just had a really shitty thought. I was gonna say whether it was pimping. <laughs> <laughs> I would have ran it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's done. not good at all that's uh, not good but uh, that was uh, the first uh, thought that came to my mind pimping yes i was really you know i'd be a loving caring pimp but get out there and make my money mm-hmm. um anyway cashly you know, what about jameeker <laughs> cashly cashly i like cashly oh, that's a good one when you I hear it on the next intro you know where we got it from hey. <laughs> That that writing, that song writing, right into play. I was gonna say I could see you being like uh, Jamaica, uh what was it, Jamaica Thompson? The, oh yeah, yeah. The king, the queen pin in L.A. and uh, South L.A. Right? Okay, whipping them motherfuckers into shape. Nigga, you short with my money. Okay, I like mm-hmm. assassin shit too. Ooh. I would definitely be an assassin. Yeah, just like. Walk into a room, just be like, bah, 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 just like <laughs> silent. Walk to the next room, bah, 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 just boo, 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 boo. just like every corner doing flips, like jumping off the Eiffel Tower. You know, let's get it. Oh, like speaking it. of sniper and more action, that's what I watched recently. Was the Michael B. Jordan and Lauren London movie? Oh, was it good? Mm. It actually was. I mean, there's <sighs> hot take. Actually, it hot looked take. disappointing, so I was like, well, here's the thing. Here's the hot take. I think Michael B is corny. I don't think he's that great of an actor. Hot take. Sorry. Spicy and pricey. Spicy and pricey. I think he plays action roles well. Mm-hmm. I think he gets in good shape and he plays them well, but I don't. And he's attractive, so it, it Ish. Sells. You know, and I just think, I just get cornball vibes. My <laughs> aunt. The room agrees. The room agrees. My aunt said the same yeah. thing. She went to high school with him. Okay. In New Jersey. Right. Right. And come on, auntie, with yeah. the scoop. Mm-hmm. She said that he had a little crush on her and that he was corny. And I didn't believe it. 
sorry titi i didn't believe it until like <laughs> until like other people were like he's kind of corny and i was like damn my titi said that you know and that's why said, she didn't go on a date with him right i've heard like, i've heard this from people as well okay who've also gone on dates, dates with, him, with, with him with him that said he's just sorry just, mm. but it's without remorse is the movie it, it was good though it without was good remorse. um he did good lauren g- get, gave her uh act debut i guess back into the game but it was so quick like she yeah you know, she died like, really soon i mean it's not really a spoiler they say that in the in the, the trailer yeah the trailer that's what it looked like which is kind of why i was like do i really want to watch this right like, it's just i feel like they just threw her in it for the sake of throwing her in it you know right. what i mean like and laura london too. like you yeah. remember in um what was it? Stomp the yard. Like Chris Brown's in this movie. Chris Brown's <laughs> in this movie. Right. Chris Brown. Like the nigga didn't make uh, it out the first, first dance. Yeah. Like nigga what? did the handstand, the headstand and was gone. Was gone. Like <laughs> literally. Damn nigga. Like you right. can't even make it halfway through the movie. Like that so funny. yeah, I feel that. But I'll check it out. Okay. What is that on? That is on uh, HBO Max. Oh, is it? As well. Damn, mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. Come mm-hmm. on. Okay, for sure. So I've been watching The Hype which is a series on HBO Max. I feel like this is a fucking ad for HBO Max at this point. But um, really, really good show. It's all about streetwear. And oh, like yeah. it's like a competition show with Offset as the host. Ooh. Marnie, who is an amazing stylist. She styles like Beyonce and the top of the top fucking artist. And then, um, oh my God, I'm going to butcher her name. I think it's like Birthie, Birdie, something like that. And she runs a really dope, like consignment or Mm, boutique in new york um but they are the judges there's a bunch of up and coming uh designers streetwear designers and it's basically like fashion um yeah runway what is it what's Mm. the one with heidi klum the runway oh project one project Project runway Runway. i'm like it's like project runway but for streetwear and it was just really really cool it's a cool process to watch the entire season is out right now so you can just binge it it's pretty easy Lit. watch okay um really liked it and really liked the talent that they were highlighting i think they did a really good job on that that's dope that's dope um the other thing that i watched is also on hbo max the tina turner documentary called tina mm. it's mm. been out and i f- was so excited about it and then i completely forgot we watched it really really fucking good when we're talking I about bet. legends i think people forget Tina a little bit and like really there's no way you fucking can because she was rocking stages from what 1950 yeah three like 40 like, years to, no. to 2000 50, 50. like and then she had her real like run in her fucking mid to late 40s mm-hmm. here in um the states yeah. where she was like selling out arenas and like people continuously doubted her. And we all know about like her whole thing with Ike and all that stuff, but just her power to be resilient, like you said earlier and overcome Mm -hmm. that and really, really like always put on a fucking good show and sell out stadiums, even when she didn't have the support of labels, when that was everything you needed. So if you need something inspirational to watch and just something about a wonderful, I want woman and black woman. That is a great, great series to watch or not series, a uh, docu movie documentary to watch. Definitely check that out. Dancer, 20 million records, 20 million records sold. $10. Do you know how many hits was on private dancers? <sighs> like shit is, she's just fucking amazing. And her voice is so unique, honestly, as far as like the depth in her voice, you definitely give me that. Like Ooh, that feeling okay. that like oh, it gives me that okay, same depth. feeling. Yeah. Okay, I feel mm-hmm. you. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to shout out that you guys should check out. So you know I love me a little rom com, a little romantic movie. There's a new one on Netflix <laughs> called Really Love, which has Kofi Sirobo Sirobo Sirobe. Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce names. <laughs> um, it also has Michael Ely. It has a new actress called Yutha Wong Lo Sing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's really gorgeous. It also has Mac Wilds. It, just a bunch of people. Really, really cute. Um, black love story. And I'm always going to champion those. So definitely check that love out. That. That's on Netflix. It was really cute. It gives me like, um, what's the movie with Lorenz Tate and Nia Long? 
Oh my God. Not dead president. Oh, sold. Love Jones. Uh, Love Jones. Love it gives Jones. me that yes. like yes, very inspired by Love Jones. The whole thing. He's an artist. She's a lawyer, and okay. it's just really dope. I like it. It was cute. So definitely tap into that. That's mm-hmm. a cute if you okay. want to simp and watch something cute. Okay, I could use that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody that's can use cool. a little simping. You know, something I want to do, if that's all that we're going to share for yeah. TV and film. So we decided to do something since um, we just entered our 90s for our uh, podcast episodes. This is episode 91. 91. Which is actually the year, woo woo, this is the year that I was born. Um, I know you were born in the 90s. I know barely, but you still were. You made the cut. You made it, girl. So we decided to do something for these sequence of episodes where we share something um, that from the 90s, because we both love the 90s. We're like 90s nostalgia. We're all about it. 90s babies for life. Um, something that we take from the '90s that we'll never forget. That kind of shaped us and made us who we are. And and again, just something we'll never forget. So I'm gonna start just to give a little reference. Um, for my my for 90, episode 91, I'm going to say uh, something I will never forget is Sir Mix a Lot's uh, "Baby Got Back." Baby got back. <laughs> my mom used to play that song every day. And Come on, when every she was, day. Every day. Especially when she was cleaning or cooking. Mm-hmm. And she thought she was so slick because the measurements that he names off was like her measurements. Oh, so and she so, thought she was cute. 34, 24, 36. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she was like, oh, that's, they just talking about me. And da, da, da. I'm like, okay. All but, right, mom. Right. Go ahead and oh, finish goodness. dinner, please. Please. <laughs> she, <literally, laughs> she literally had. I'm a, actually hungry. Here right. You. She had a cassette tape. Remember Come those? On, do y'all, y'all yeah. remember cassette tapes? No, she doesn't. I but don't. Remember, I do, <laughs> but my, my parents are little, so I do. My parents are little. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. So that is what I remember. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop on today's episode one of my memories. What about you, Ashley? Cashley? Uh, ooh, right? Cashley. <laughs> Cashley. So uh, 90s memory. Um, You know what? 90s memory for me, I'm going to dip into fashion a little bit. Mm. I definitely remember like cross colors, FUBU, like that was the thing. The la the you know, the cap sleeve baseball tees, mm-hmm. like the three fourth sleeves, those t shirts right. with the over Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn Jenny got one on right now. But like four sizes bigger than that one. Right. Right. <laughs> and in wild crazy colors like yellow and green, like shit like that. I remember that and like overalls super oversized overalls and shit like that (laughs) like that's what i remember okay i definitely can agree with that nyla i'm definitely gonna say the same thing he's like i always like when i was little i remember my mom my mom had like really long hair like past her butt and stuff and then she would just always wear like dark brown like lipstick and then like a little like like v-neck kind of thing so i'm taking away crop tops and denim because yes. i'm still in the crop tops and denim i had like mad outfits from when i was a little kid that like my grandma would make for me and it's like little like crochet yes. crop tops with like little like little like thoughts hanging oh, off yeah. yeah and like and then like a pair of like matching jeans with like little lace on the bottom yeah like, high-waisted like mom jeans for like a two-year-old yes. right so, <laughs> on a mom toddler no big deal yeah toddler mom jeans no biggie no for real that's fat crop tops and denim that that shit came in the 90s and really didn't leave if no. you think about it it did not no. still wearing that 90s has the best style for sure those were really good people trying to bring back the Editions. 2000 style it's Please just don't. it doesn't work put your thong back in your pants stop it Please put your thong back in your fucking pants. We don't. We don't need to see it all the time. We know it's there. <laughs> I, I'm cool with the Calvin Klein briefs, you know, showing. But the thong, but the thong, the thong. Unless, it's the, unless it's the Gucci thong, the thong. I don't want to see it. I feel you. <laughs> you know, I feel you. Who? Yeah, there was somebody yeah. on the show whose whole style was like the small crop top, the big over. <laughs> size baggy jeans and then the crop top or the the thong thong, like the thong way up here like every day she's like yep (laughs) that shit rides up mad far Uh, that's my thing i'm like i'm sorry Uh like Uh like all split me up the middle dog like like, like, what's going on uh, i got i don't know if if you know i got time mama Mm -hmm. thicker than cold oatmeal but Mm -hmm. it's just Mm -hmm. you know the, the no. thong in that, that situation that's uncomfortable. not comfortable you can't tell me any different i don't no. care don't like it Flex don't want smoke. it sorry we digress we digress anyway. well all right ash there's only one thing left to do one thing left to do let's get the fuck into it this is heat seekers heat seekers if you don't know you should know 
is our music segment and we basically put you on to all the music that we've been rocking to you know we created one big ass master playlist that you can go ahead and tap into the link is in the description of this episode it takes you right mm. to title spotify apple, apple whatever you need heat so. seekers a come through pod playlist it is loaded with music about think 17 18 hours too much music. might even be more than that now yeah so since episode one we're on 91 everybody's dropped music from me to ashley to all our amazing guests and so now we get to have your Yay. edition Yay. yeah nice so what are you gonna drop for us today y'all not gonna find this on streaming platforms for like another month or so That's no okay. worries we'll That's add it when it comes the out exclusive but i sent it to you Ooh, you sent it to me to me i'm so excited to play some new music okay so we're not going to get this on streaming platforms for a little while longer but why don't you tell the people what we're playing today uh we're playing a song as of right now called <laughs> <laughs> right. as of today as of today it's called big world small girl uh I love yeah that. ray likes this one i like this one this is a bob like oh. Everyone's so. smiling in the room. Okay, I'm excited. Let's play it. Oh, okay. Ray says this should be the opener for the project, so let's give it a whirl. Come through exclusive. World so Gosh, it's such we a vibe. It. We love it. I love your so voice. So I do too. And okay, this is not to take away from your own creativity because you definitely have your own sound and I love it. You listen to Cali Uchis? I do. That that song gave me that vibe. Yeah. Her, her vibe, which I, yeah. I, I can love. take that. Yeah. I can take that. Do you ever sing in Spanish? Sometimes. <laughs> in the car. Yeah. And when no one's around. And <laughs> honestly, if I, like if you're like, I want you to learn this. I can learn it. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, do you speak Spanish? I don't speak okay. Spanish. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Cut that can, out. No, can, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't Sorry no, to but disappoint. But you can learn. You can learn. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I understand. I mean, like, I understand every word that's, like, said to me. Like, Pete talks to me in Spanish all the time. My mom talks to me in Spanish all the time. My grandma. All those people and stuff. And I can, like, have a full conversation. But it's just, like, Spanish. And then it's like, Mom, <laughs> but I wanted to do this. And she's just like, look at that. <laughs> really fast and stuff yeah, yeah i wow love it love that song so we're gonna find that in about a month in almost. about a month or so mm-hmm. about a month mm-hmm. or so mm-hmm. okay <laughs> around spooky season spooky season i love it I love okay it. we're very excited i love that you came in and gave us a sneak peek of something you're thank you for blessing us yeah yes. that was super super dope um before we get out of here flex what you dropping so i have been in 
my Caribbean bag. Hey. Oh. Hey. But I can't really honestly say Caribbean because it's not really Caribbean music. It's Nigerian music. I was going to say. But okay. it's the same vibe. Okay, okay, it's okay. Afro beats. It's Afro beats. <laughs> yeah. But it's that vibe. But I, I, I have been listening to a lot of Caribbean music as well. But it, but it steered me right to WizKid, of course. So. Yep. The and, deluxe version dropped. The deluxe version did drop. So I hope y'all tapped in. I'm not gonna play in a, any of the additions, but I want to drop. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, where are we? I'm excited to see what you're gonna drop. No stress. I got that pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's no stress. No yes. stress. <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, that's my shit. Banger. Yes. Another banger. Banger. Yes. Banger. There's more songs than essence. I've said this, and they're sure. all good. And they're all, all good. good. Very True good. Love is so, a great song. Right. The one with Ellie Ma. Ellie LMA. 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 It's I don't okay. Know why. I know. Every, why? It's okay. We're gonna, do, we're gonna get there. What is it? LMA. 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 You know. Okay. It's, it's okay. LMA. Um, love that song. Uh, what are you dropping? Cashly? I will say that Reckless, which is a uh, new addition, I believe, on the deluxe, is is yes fire. Okay. I, Put that on my playlist. Um, today, I am also going to drop an Afrobeat song, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, I am going to drop Tim's, which Tim's is featured on. Yep, we're getting head nods mm -hmm. in the studio. <laughs> uh, Tim's is featured on Acceptance. Essence, which is the song of the summer, it feels like right now. It definitely um, is. Absolutely love it. Um, it's been the song of my past two summers but you know catch up y'all <laughs> yeah. um tim's damages is what i'm gonna put on the playlist okay, okay. A, bop. a bop i love her she i think is the fucking queen of hooks right now she can Ooh. do no wrong in my Ooh. book that her hook on this is just as good as the i don't need no other body <laughs> so like the damages is fucking fire right. like so definitely tap into that it'll but. be on the playlist for you to tap into i will also say um the Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keem. Oh, that's just fire. Ooh, how can we not bring it up? Yes, very, thank you. very fire. Family ties. Wow. The vi visual the is The visual dope. was amazing. The song is fucking amazing. Kendrick goes off. Just to remind y'all, you know, he's been laying low. But here I am just to remind you guys so, how the fuck I am. Did you also see that um, Kendrick said that not only is he parting with TDE, he's only going to put out one last project. And then he's mm. retiring from rap. I've heard that How before. do you feel? Eh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't yeah, think he's going to do it. How many artists have said that and then they come back? I didn't hear any of that. I just heard that he was departing from TDE. I didn't hear, I didn't he hear the rest retiring, of it. But I don't believe it. I, yeah, I didn't see it. Last album with TDE. No, he just said last album. Said with TDE. I read that shit a million times. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. Apparently <laughs> it's last album with TDE, which okay. honestly did not see this divorce coming. Did not kind at of all. blindsided. I like it's not even a divorce. Family. It's not a divorce. Yeah. Separation? It was a, contract. a mutual uh, a mutual yeah. agreement to dissolution of a relationship. Ooh. You know, I used to work with lawyers. <laughs> yeah, it's like growth. Yeah, it's growth. I can't stand in top shadow forever. I guess. I really had a, a slight conniption when I thought he was saying he was retiring from rap. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> how are you going to give us classic after fucking classic after classic? Even Untitled is a fucking classic, in my opinion. Uh, definitely you're is. Yeah. Walk the fuck away. You're bugged right. if you don't like that one. Drop the mic on us. Damn. You fucking rude fuck. What are you talking about? You're going to walk away. I was so upset. I was like, no. No. I don't think so. No. Even when artists say that. Bleep that all out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even when artists say that, like, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. No. God. I was so, Ray was like, no, he just wants, you know, his legacy to be masterpieces. I was like, fuck that. You got shit to say when you're old, too. Right. Old people can rap. Absolutely. Look at Jay. Always. Look, look at 444. Four, four. Look at Jay's verse on Donda. The fuck? Did y'all like Donda? I did not give Donda a spin. I, I, didn't, did. I didn't give it a spin yet because it's a little too long. It's thank you. I said twenty seven songs. Honestly, oh, and no. it's a little too it's a little too long for him to be fucking around that hard. Thank you. Before he dropped it, he has four part twos on the same fucking album. Like, nope. bro, we don't need we don't need it. We don't no. need it. Y'all know but how I feel about is, playlist albums. It's a good album. I, I didn't mean, even he's... listen to Scorpion like that because of it's yeah. like long. It's just long. Yeah, it's just, just too long. long. No, don't. I mean, I love, I love, I love Kanye, yeah. but it's just like to it's put in long. that effort at the moment right I now. 
I just gotta wait it out. Yeah. It's a good album. It's too long. Um, it's not his best. I don't love every song, but it's a good album. He's a genius. He's not gonna put out shit. Like, I'm sure the production you know, is great. Like it's that, immaculate. you know, I'm not doubting immaculate. that, but it's just like. Do you really want to hear I do it? want to shout out my home girl Christy, aka Stallone. She's a, a singer songwriter, and she got her vocals on the Donda album oh, on yes, "Believe What I, I Say" and also on Donda. They actually thought it was Ariana Grande's vocals in the background. Oh! Her fans went crazy. Ariana Grande shouted out my girl Christy. Yeah, come on, was Stallone. Like, no, nah, this is who it is. She went, she went up. She went viral on social media, so she's getting all the love. So I want to make sure she gets it here. Yeah, shout out to the home girl. Come yeah. through, Stallone. Yes, ma'am. So good shit. All right, cool. Yeah, give you give Donda a whirl when you have the time, because <laughs> it's fucking long. I've only yeah. went through it once because it's so long. I want to pay attention to it. Yeah, you know? but yeah. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Well, that's it. That's all I got. I want to thank you so much. For thank you. Thank for you, Nye, us in before you just jet out of here. Very grateful. Very grateful. Thanks, guys. You have great energy. So talented. I wish nothing but the best for you. And you better bring that ass back. I yeah. will be back. Both y'all. Both, Both y'all. I will be Both back. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> cool. One more time, let the people know where they can find you. Shout out your ads and where they can expect that music it's coming soon. N A four eyes. L A H. N A four eyes. L A H. Yes. That's right. Look them in the camera. Yeah. Look them in the sky. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, uh, I mean, Spotify, Apple, Tidal, YouTube, all that shit. But. We'll figure that out soon. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll inform it you guys. Yeah. We'll let you guys know. You already know. Yes, the deal. for sure. You already know. Well, cool. thank you so much again. Have a safe flight back. Come back soon. Yes. Yes. We're going to miss you. Come guys. through for the kickback again. We got to. We're going to miss you, friends. We're going to miss you guys, too. Aww. I'll be back soon. Yay. Okay, well, thanks, Nye. It's been real. Wrapping up episode 90, motherfucking one. 91. 91, baby. That's right. Woo. All right. What's well, been real? Your girl, Flex Luther. Is Young Flex. Signing out of this bitch. And you know who I'm out of here with? My A1 Day 1. Ashley J. It's me, Ashley J. Y'all know I ask mm. one thing and one thing only that you put some respect on my motherfucking name, dog. That's it. That's all. And it can so be so simple. simple. Also, respect my new name, Cashley. Cashley, you're welcome. <laughs> you. All right, Cashley. That's right. You thought she wasn't. You thought and, I wasn't. And y'all already know what to motherfucking do. Subscribe, like, share if you care. Tell your mama to come through. <laughs> we out of here. Be safe, y'all. Bye.